That is supposed to be a sculpture of a lion. That is not a lion. That is... <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. So I'm in Johannesburg in South Africa, only a few kilometers from where I was born, actually. And I'm off on a safari. I'm visiting the Pilansburg National Park. Gonna see some wild animals. Yeah. I don't think that's real. So I have arrived at Bachatla Resort in Pilansburg National Park. I'm just going to show you uh, the setup I've got going here. That's my car. It's a very nice car. Uh, then I've got my tent over there. It's a little camp master, three person tents. Perfect for one man. <laughs> Lots of space. Uh, that green thing on the floor over there is um, a ground sheet, just you know, so I can walk on something other than just pure sand. Little table over here. Just a very nice little tablecloth to keep everything a little bit nice, you know. Camping chair. I've got what in South Africa we call a braai, and that's basically where we uh, barbecue meat. Lighting. Yeah, I gotta have some lighting. My hammock. I've got a lovely hammock. Uh, attached to the trees power source over there so that I can keep uh, you know keep uh, things charged and uh, and ready to use animals here are wild, they hunt for themselves, they have to fend for themselves. This is completely wild, but no, we do not ride elephants to school. Uh, we do not have lions for pets. So I've just stopped off at the Pilansburg Center where there's a restaurant overlooking a waterhole. Gonna have an ice cream and see what comes down to drink. So the temperature is minus one. I woke up at six o'clock. The predators and the really cool animals are most active at dawn and dusk. Bit of a traffic jam up ahead. I've stopped off for a little bit of lunch in the middle of nowhere. It's a little picnic spot with the worst fence ever. And I've been watching my back the whole time because there's no one else here. So this is the fence that is supposed to keep the wild animals out. I mean, any animal on the planet Earth could get through that. So it looks like I'm getting out of this picnic spot unharmed. I carried this knife around with me just in case. <laughs> Would probably do nothing against a lion, but it made me feel better, you know? Armed and not really dangerous. You may encounter dangerous animals. You leave the vehicle at your own risk. Do not leave the demarcated area on foot. Even the demarcated area is dangerous. So I just quickly popped out to the neighboring town to get something very important. A 
kettle. Hey, bro, I hear you're a farmer. What kind of stuff do you farm? Sheep or kettle? So I went to the gym yesterday and I did some kettle mail. You see, I don't know if I want to get a dog or a cat, yeah, because the kettle just poo everywhere. Kettle! Check how cheeky this little guy is. Hey, buddy. So I always come to the same spot um, at the end of the day for about the last two hours of the day to this little dam which is so peaceful and there's usually no one else here. It's crazy to think how how quickly we're destroying the planet and that places like this hardly really exist anymore. You know, they're only in national parks or places where they're protected. Other than that, they're, they're disappearing. You know, forests are disappearing, protected areas are shrinking. I just hope my kids get to see something like this one day. Future generations may not have the privileges we have. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at MarkTatham9 and stay tuned for more videos.